with holes with 15 uh, division 15 holes. So what I will do then is to for each division turn this one full circle and nine holes. So I will adjust the spider for nine holes. And I'm already in the inner circle here is the one that has 15 holes. I now have this sector set for nine divisions, nine holes, nine spaces. So if I start right here at the beginning point and go one full turn and then nine holes right through there, that is one division. And then of course I would advance this so that it was ready for the next hole. Because I'm not going to show it every time on the lathe. Remember that I'm going to put this in the uh, chuck. And then this will go in the left hand end of the spindle. folks well anybody got any ideals uh why that slide is not moving i sure need to know uh you know the threaded rod through it is moving it's a little bit stiff i mean not real bad but i don't think that's Wide right. Not nearly as smooth as the other one. I don't know. I think the uh, maybe the nut is either there's a shear pin that's been sheared or the nut is stripped. So, I've got to pull it apart. is not a 
on the originals for that little sliding dog. I may or may not do that in this video. Okay, got it figured out. Now, and here is what happened. The other night when I got the lathe, I ran it for a little bit and shot video. And I just ran it back and forth a few times, but I did engage the auto feed. But I do remember looking at it that night thinking I didn't see the auto feed move. And if it did, it must have been very slow. I mean, I seen the knob move, but I didn't see this move. And so anyway, it had been run off, you know, it had been run off the end of the rod. Now, I might have done it, or it might have been that way when I got it, okay? But as you can see, you know, it's working perfect. So, now I know. Everything looks old and everything. And, yeah, I mean, it's, it's smooth as can be. Trying to see how much backlash is in it. Pretend this is your maple bench. There is very, very little backlash. About that so much right there. Okay. Now I'm relieved. You better believe it. So of course, it wouldn't have been the end of the world or anything. I had to order another brass nut for it and well, put it in there. Or a sheer pin. But I'm going to take this thing apart, and for if no other reason, though, let me give you a couple good reasons. The reason I'm going to take this thing apart is, is then because I am a mechanic, and the way I got started was was taking my toys apart when I was a kid, <laughs> and then that would be how I learned how something works. So, in order to really understand what is going on on everything in here, because I can't get a good video of this particular lathe. I can take it apart though, and then I'll know exactly how everything is. And while I'm at it, I can go ahead and, you know, clean everything up, get make sure everything's old, you know, see what has got a lot of wear on it or damaged. Uh, you know, and just go through the whole thing and fully understand what's going on before I ever use this lathe. Okay, I'm not using the lathe until we're done. Okay, guys, so I do have the lathe leveled now. I've got all the blocks and everything. Everything is leveled. It's, it's level from one end to the other. And I did not believe it was going to be that much work to get this thing level like that but it was a lot of work it's taken me a couple of days to get this thing unloaded off that trailer and get it down on the ground and level uh i have been doing a little bit of cleaning you know i'm just going around wiping stuff and trying to clean things up looking at everything you know finding where i need to oil it uh you know i'm doing all that stuff first and uh, it looks to me like everything on it runs good, you know. It's got a little bit of damage here and there, but I don't think it's anything that's going to affect how the, the lathe operates. It's got a little bit of wear on it, but I guess if I was that old, I would too. Uh, I don't see anything that's going to keep it from being able to do, you know, quality work. Um... I've got to get all my tooling straightened out. I want to work on that tool head up there. The old guy I got it from is going to be over here in a few days, and he's going to show me how to run this thing. And I'm sure it's going to work. But I just don't like the way he's got that tool post rigged up on there. But anyway, this is a short video. Just giving you all a little update. Uh, when we come back, uh, we're going to go through this thing. We're going to tear it apart. We're going to clean everything up. We're going to at least paint the bottom down here because that table is in really bad shape. And the top uh, inside of that chip tray right there, I really could care less if it got repainted because it's just going to stay dirty anyway. And we might do a few things up here on the top other than just clean it. Uh, it needs some steel wool on the the chuck 
You may go ahead and take the chuck apart, completely take it apart, clean it, put it back together. Uh, definitely going to take these uh, slides apart. We're going to clean them, readjust them and everything. Uh, I don't know about the tailstock yet. It seems to be working fine. And uh, make sure everything is all greased, no dirt daubers, uh, you know, all that type of stuff. Before I ever really fire it up and run, run it. So, you know, that's, that's what I'm doing. I think that's a smart thing to do because, to be honest with you, I've never run a lathe. And even though I do know how to do a lot of things and I've watched a lot of YouTube videos, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just going to take it, you know, take it slow. So, anyway.
All right, folks, I think we're going to call her today. See y'all later. When you close the door, this little lever goes in behind there. But because this is actually a threaded rod that this knob is on, when you close the door, okay, now the door is closed. But because they put this where it screws in, and the more it screws in, the more it tightens, it, the more it tightens the door. And you'll know that, that the reason for that is is so that this door doesn't sit here and vibrate. Now, I just now discovered this. But anyway, so you just keep on tightening. Okay? Now your door's tight. It's not going to vibrate. I mean, that's just, they just don't build stuff like that anymore. <laughs> I, I'm probably wrong about that. But anyway, I don't. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool, though. <laughs>